because the Minister of Health, Dr. Bernard Okoboy, is proposing the addition of a seed fund to the operation of new hospitals in the award of contracts for projects and construction. Now this, he says, will ensure the hospital have adequate resources to take off. The proposal was mooted after the Director General of the Ghana Health Service, Dr. Patrick Kumabwaji, raised challenges confronting the operations of some new hospitals. Anaya Jima joined the minister in touring some newly built hospitals as part of a tour of the Ashanti region and filed this report. The Kumau and Fomina hospitals in the Ashanti region are among seven facilities awarded to the NMS group in 2012 at $175 million. The two facilities are already in operation ahead of their official commissioning. According to the Health Ministry, the newly built Sewa and Swami hospitals will be operational in September, but the facilities already in operations are financially burdened in their takeoff. Dr. Patrick Kuma Abwaje is Director General of the Ghana Health Service. Yeah, the lights are on, but they don't have money. But the lights have to be on. Um, they have to buy petrol and go up. They have to stock their pharmacies. But it's no, uh, this, and especially with the delay in health insurance, I think they are waiting. The, I think it's November that you have qualified. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So maybe even if you get 50 minutes, you have about seven months of working with virtually nothing. And I think that is something that we really must institutionalize to ensure that such hospitals are given some seed fund. Both the Fomena and Kumau district hospitals are yet to be fully functional due to challenges with staffing. Dr. Abena Yelsin is the medical superintendent at Fomena district hospital. Currently, because of the staffing problems, we are not running the whole hospital. We've closed some sections. Um, the emergency, for instance, is a ward where we are admitting almost everybody. So we stabilize in one, we, we try to stabilize in one corner. And then within the same world, we move you when you are stable to another side. Our staff are doing two shifts a day, 12 hour shifts, instead of the usual eight hour shift. They come in the morning from eight and close at 8 p.m. Medical superintendent at Kumau District Hospital, Dr. Alex Agbanu, shares similar obstacles. High cost of running the facility, fueling the generator sets, high electricity bills and high cost of maintenance and care of the environment are all part of the costs. Minister of Health Dr. Bernard Okoboy touring the new facilities was impressed with the healthcare delivery so far. He proposes seed funding to address the challenge. Uh, be rest assured that we will take a good look at the staffing situation, especially. I think we must seriously start to consider and to make this seed fund as part of the package right at the beginning when we are building hospitals. So should we have a rule now going forward that any project you do, these were seven hospitals, assuming you are sharing 1%, of the project cost to all these seven, six hospitals, 1.75 million. Each one will get some decent money to, to start life. And so, um, uh, director infrastructure, because the only time that all of us are serious about finding the money, allocating the money, and see how to pay is during the conception design contract stage. If we don't discuss money for the hospital and they finish the hospital, in fact, maybe the chairman who started the project would be in Europe. But during the design and the discussion, everybody's around. So I think going forward is one of the serious things that we will be advocating for future projects. For Joy News, Nanaya Ojima, Kumasi.